Atlantis. Uh, are we go for docking without the manual DSAT, or is that going to be done in a few seconds? Contact reported by mechanical systems officer here in Mission Control. Shuttle's steering jets turned off. It put in free drift as planned. The bell being rung aboard uh, the International Space Station by Flight Engineer Dan Bursch, signaling the arrival of the seven astronauts aboard Atlantis. This a view from inside the Destiny Laboratory, looking at uh, the hatchway to the shuttle docking port. Again, docking occurred at 11.05 a.m. Central Time, a picture-perfect uh, rendezvous and approach by Atlantis. Commander uh, Yuri Onofrienko of the Expedition 4 crew on the space station prepares to welcome uh, the oncoming commander, Mike Bloomfield, and his uh, crew of seven. With us today to recap the events on orbit is Jeff Hanley, the lead shuttle flight director for STS-110. Jeff? Uh, that was quite a, a significant raise in our orbit. We, we tracked out uh, uh, the dispersions that we'd seen and then did a, a orbit uh, fairly soon, or another raising burn fairly soon after that to uh, set us up for the rendezvous and put us into a uh, orbit of 211 by uh, 199. Uh, we finally caught up uh, with the ISS in a fairly standard rendezvous sequence from that point on uh, and are currently in uh, uh, dock to the station in an orbit of 211 by 204. Uh, we, uh, we, as you saw, the crew flawlessly flew uh, uh, approach and docking. It was uh, picture perfect and they uh, uh, met up with the station about 1930 uh, mission elapsed time.